I started running about 100 years ago when I was at school. I always had a fascination with the marathon because when I was a kid, only real lunatics ran marathons. And I always thought it would be a really cool thing to do. Oh, I probably started in my teens just to stay fit, lose a bit of weight. I did about 30 halves and then I did London Marathon, Valencia and New York last November. Well, I first started running, I think it's been five years now, actually. I don't think I choose running. I think running choose me. I just started doing 2K, 3K, and then take it from there. Went out by myself to start with and uh, couldn't run 200 yards around the block without thinking I was going to die. Uh, but then met up with my friends who kind of did know what they were doing. They'd done a few marathons and things. And uh, they taught me that if you slow down, you can actually run further. When I started along, I remember everything hurt. Uh, muscles in my legs, I didn't know I had hurt. But I think it was a matter of three weeks to a month. And then after a month, it's when I really started to see the difference. I could run for longer. It would feel great the next day. Running was something my husband did. And he was fast. And so it wasn't ever something we did together. It was a bit of a wake up call, actually. We went to the old GP for something else, came out with a a list of uh, issues including a 98 kilogram uh, uh, weight on the old scales. Life just got very busy and I couldn't keep up three sports and I realised I really didn't like swimming <laughs> and I wasn't very good at it so I decided just to switch to running. Yeah I've been nearly 15 years. I guess I've been running since I was a kid. Other sports, football, Gaelic. I used to play rugby um, and all sorts of sports. But um, my, my proper sort of running career took off, um, well, the Ealing Half Marathon, really. I got the fly for Ealing Half through my door and decided maybe this was time to start getting fit again. I first ran the Ealing Half um, the year it started, actually. I hadn't really run a race before and I felt like, given that it was on my back doorstep, so to speak, I had no excuse. It was my first race, first one I ever did. Then I ran it again the following year. But I've, I must have run the route upwards of 50 times. And then someone said, well, there's this local race that goes really close to you. You just have to step out of your door to get to the starting point. Why don't we try that? And that was, of course, was Ealing Half Marathon. Ealing is a fantastic, just a brilliant place. I live right by this park. So I've run around here probably, I don't know how many thousands of times in my life. If you are a local, you never run along, basically. It's often you go for a run for yourself. And all you do is bump into colleagues or friends. The Ealing Half Marathon is all run on closed roads through Ealing. So, you know, you don't have to contend with the traffic, which is great. The EHM course starts where we are now, in Lammas Park. This area is beautifully decked out with many, many loos. Just running down the Osprey's Road, this is part of the Ealing Half Marathon course. Quite nice to, to run down closed roads. You've got a flat first mile to get you going. Um, <clears throat> there's, a, there's a nice little hill at mile two, but it's so early in the race. You know, you're warmed up by then, you can just power up it and you've got a nice long downhill to follow. It goes through some of the nicest parks in Ealing. It's a beautiful route all year around because even in winter when it's cold, it can be misty, it can be still be beautiful. The nicest part of it is that you're actually going through the community. You're not on the outskirts of the town, you're actually going through neighbourhoods, you're going through parks, you're going through where people live and work and therefore there's a great atmosphere on the route. I found it quite challenging but the support along it was amazing and it just gave me the bug back for wanting to run. My overriding memory of Ealing Half Marathon is the number of spectators. So actually it's such great fun. The closed roads, you know, everyone gets out and cheering. It's a great atmosphere. The atmosphere on the day is fantastic. It's, it's just so nice. Um, it's a real community event and I think over the last five or six years people have got really involved with it. The crowds are massive. And you'll know loads of people if you're a local resident. But you get all the local people out lining the streets. You get kids hanging out, handing out sweets to the runners. You know, people come out in their pyjamas with their cups of tea 
and they're there cheering you on. You're going past and they're having a barbecue for breakfast. People just stop their everyday life, come on, support, cheer on. The atmosphere is absolutely unique, uh, magical really. A surprising number of bands. You've got young kids out there with balls of jelly babies. I'm not in the front, I'm more in the back. I'm around like 220 pace. And you get as many cheers as the quick people do. They're cheering you on and they're screaming and you're just like, oh my God, I'm just a superstar. That's what got me through it. I didn't realize um, that I thought it was gonna be at the beginning and at the end. I didn't realize how much activity there is en route and how many other people take part. I think if you could measure the well-being in a community uh, before and after the race, it would just rock it. Um, at the moment, we're running along Pitsanger Lane, which is um, one of Ealing's high streets. I think it won the High Street of the Year last year. Oh, the crowds along Pitsanger are immense because there's cafes and stuff along here, so there's normally people having their morning breakfast and out cheering us along. Yeah, the nice thing with the course is it doubles back on itself. So you're going down this way, a bunch of other people coming back this way. So you're kind of going along at your pace. You suddenly see these people racing towards you. The best bit about it is, if you're a bit further back like I am, if you're coming down this road here, on the right-hand side, the top guys and coming up on the left-hand side, it's great to watch them run past. So the sense of camaraderie in the whole thing is really very special. Then you've got another couple of flat miles to settle into it. One more little bump, and then you're basically flat to the finish for the last four, four and a half miles. There's a couple of hilly bits, I'm not going to lie. There aren't any hills in the EHM. They're undulations. For someone who's used to proper hills and mountains, they probably consider Ealing a flat course. But for those of us who aren't used to running on the undulations, they're, they're quite noticeable. I wouldn't say Ealing Half Marathon is really hilly when you've been <laughs> to other places. I'm not a big fan of hills, but I think it's part part of the training and that's a bit which kind of makes you go quicker. My tactical approach to a hill when I'm running is generally just run up it. <laughs> like, and know that the downhill's coming. If you're doing a circular route, the nice thing is you know that if it's going up, it's going down at some point. The hills are fine. I mean, they come at the right time. They're followed by downhills. And the most important thing, the last four miles are flat to the finish. So just when it starts to hurt, you're okay. But at least you know from then onwards. It's pretty much downhill the whole way. When I reach Whirlpool Park, I know I'm almost done. It's like, thank God it's over. You can always save energy because you will always be able to use it at the end. When you're here, you think you're almost home because we turn, turn right to go back into Lammas Park, where you have the race village. So. And you come back in and you think you're finished. And then you think, rats, I've actually got to run around this park still before I actually finish. So there will be 5,000 people or more all in this area. And it's always sunny. Every evening half marathon, the end of September, it's always sunny. And to come through the finish line at last kilometer in Lammas Park, seeing all your friends and family, that's brilliant. And all I could think of was to, uh, to get to the pub and celebrate. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Euphoric once you finish. Oh, I loved it. It was really good. So I've actually run all five of the Ealing Half Marathons to date now. Um, and I've, I've got quicker each, each time. Three now. So this will be my fourth Ealing Half Marathon coming up. So over the five Ealing Halves, I'd like to say they've got progressively faster, but they haven't. But the last one was definitely my fastest. I've run Ealing Half all five times. Um, I know that there's an ever decreasing number of us. There's 130 people now who've run all five, so we're, we're a dwindling band. I've been very lucky that I haven't had work commitments or whatever to, to stop me running it. And I'm sort of thinking maybe I should, should volunteer it, give something back. So the evening half is going to be my regular annual marker, just to make sure that I'm still alive. Because I'm determined that whatever happens, I'm going to make sure I do every one. So I've done the first five. I hope to carry on doing it for a very long time. Oh, it's just your whole outlook on life changes. It's just, um, you know, the energy that you have 
um, that they're not feeling tired all the time. Um, you know, going to shops and buying clothes that are actually uh, less size than they used to be, which is a great feeling. Um, but yeah, generally, I think just mentally, psychologically as well, it just changes your whole uh, attitude to life.